Win in sudden victory for Nebraska, coming out of the intermission, courtesy of Antrell Taylor. And now, another pretty even match here. We have at 174, David Ferrante unranked, 11 and seven, the redshirt junior. His opponent, Bubba Wilson, 11 and six, ranked number 33. Ferrante in there, a high crotch, but Bubba Wilson, doing his best to defend against the Illinois native. Yeah, I don't think uh, you should be deceived by any of these guys' records here. You know, it's it's um, it's two tough competitors and um, well, these two guys have wrestled once before. Another time, bout ended in a never started. Had to go forfeit, but Bubba Wilson won their first meeting. Won by decision three to two back in 2022 at the dual meet between these two schools. That bout at 165 pounds. Nicely timed attack from Bubba, but Fronte is doing what he does and looking to scramble out of it here. Finding an ankle, gumming up Bubba a little bit. So tricky to finish when you're there. Um, and, and, and a guy's tying up your ankles, you know, talk about that a lot with uh, just finishing shots, especially single legs and, and high seas, but just protecting your ankles and keeping them away from your opponent. So kind of prevent the uh, stalemate we just saw there. Stalemate called both of these wrestlers, two-time NCAA tournament qualifiers. Heavy hand fighting in the middle of the mat. Yeah, that's right. Two minutes into the first period. It's like. Bubba Wilson finishing fifth at the Big Ten Championship last year. Gets the first takedown in this match there on the far edge of the mat. Yet another match where a Nebraska wrestler has scored the first takedown, those critical points to go ahead early. Yeah, Bubba's one of those guys too, you know, along with Lenny Pinto and Silas Allred. Uh, obviously you got Brock Hardy, Ridge Lovett, Peyton Robb, but looking to to really stand as one of those core core guys here in that Nebraska Nebraska group and returning NCAA qualifier. And what a path Bubba Wilson has had. Redshirt freshman his first season. Forced to miss the 2020-21 season. Had a blood clot in the vein that led directly to his heart, but was able to come back, finish sixth at the Big Ten tournament the next season, and has now found a starting spot for himself here at 174. Again, last year, this was Nebraska's weight. Mikey, Mikey Labriola, 28-2, only two losses of the season to a certain Carter Storacci at the Big Ten Finals and the National Finals. That's right, Mikey Labriola, the uh, one and only five-time All-American in uh, Nebraska Husker wrestling history. <laughs> and any win for Bubba Wilson in this match will clinch the meet for Nebraska Current matchup history between these two teams. 19 previous meetings, Nebraska has won the last 17. Northwestern has not won a dual meet against the Cornhuskers for 99 years. It would truly take an incredible performance, not only from Ferrante, but also for the three wrestlers that follow him, for that to change here in Evanston tonight. Minute 20 left to go in the second period. One point advantage for Bubba Wilson. Also nice 49 seconds of ride time for the junior. Yeah, it's the kind of thing too where 
you know, if you're Ferrante and you, you catch wind of that before you step out on that mat, it's wrestling for something a little bit more than yourself. If you were in his position, is that something you want to know if you're about to step onto the mat, or would you prefer to just see Bubba Wilson, see the guy in front of you, and just try and do what you can to get the points? I would say, yeah, I would like to know that. Uh, but, yeah, obviously, you know, it's, it's kind of a fine line, too, because I think guys could, could, could maybe get a little distracted with the team score, too, and, um, you know, sidetracked with, with what they, what they got to do to get prepared for their match. And, you know, you see these guys warming up on the side side of the, the mat here and getting loose and stuff and getting in the right headspace to compete hard. But um, it's like a fine line, too, right? Like wanting to, wanting to wrestle for yourself, obviously, your your team, and, and to come out with a dual victory. But um, you figure every guy takes care of their business and, and the dual meet score will – hopefully take care of itself, so. Well, still just the one point in favor of Bubba Wilson. That is the difference in this match. He'll start on the bottom. Three and three in dual meets this year is Bubba Wilson. Both these guys wrestling really hard, and I would say the way that Ferrante is wrestling, it, it, it seems that he's wrestling like he knows, and he's doing a great job of, you know, kind of keeping the team in the hunt here for the for the for the duel. So wrestling for more than just himself, wrestling for this entire team. No takedown awarded there. David Ferrante doing just enough. But David Ferrante needs to get on his horse. He needs some offense. And there he goes, single leg shot attempt. David looking to run the corner there and get out from underneath Wilson. Looked like Bubba was, you know, can, can kind of ride that, that two point lead. He's in a barn burner, kind of a match here, you know, close, close score, but um, seems like he might be kind of hanging. Using the uh, using the mat to his advantage. Well, no stall calls either, so Bubba Wilson has that to work with. Doesn't feel like Bubba Wilson's strategy, though. He's been tough in this match. Great takedown defense. Reshoots into a little bit of offense of his own. Trying to collect that left leg of David Ferrante. Yeah, just when you thought, you know, Bubba was kind of... Looked like he was kind of playing possum there and set up a deep single leg there. Not taking his foot off the gas. Stalemate called. Matt Storniolo a couple of words to David Ferrante. No doubt telling him has to get something going here. But wow, the dexterity from Bubba Wilson to avoid that and then to turn that around into a takedown of his own. What a good move from the Nebraska wrestler. Rock solid defense from Bubba Wilson there. Well, with that win, Nebraska has won their 18th consecutive duel against the Wildcats. Good performance from Bubba Wilson, but David Ferrante did not give up there until the last buzzer sounded. Three more matches, though, still to go here in this meet. Meet may already be locked up for the visitors, but don't that tell that to any 